Okay, next up is exploiting server-side parameter pollution in a REST URL. I'm not going to tell a lie. I did look at the solution and I even had to study it to understand what's going on. Part of it's stupid. But essentially, I think we are walking um, a server file path because the user input has been passed to the request, through the request. So if we do this, and we go to center repeater and here this is the this is the uh, interesting bit so if we if we were to do this instead of you know just error out it says invalid root so that means that here is being passed to the server server path so if we go even further on we'll get outside of the root which is what that is now in the walkthrough, it says there is a file here called openapi.json. Uh, Too much open AI stuff on the line there. And that gets us this back. I presume with enumeration and stuff like this, this was how this would be discovered. But in here, we get back a uh, path here. See this uh, bit here? And interestingly, it gives us the field. Field. Uh, it's v1 of the api which would indicate this is an older one uh, i think right because we are not needing that normally so uh again that means with this request here the one i've highlighted basically if we were to do something like v1 users administrator field and we'd know that the password reset token is a value from the javascript file from the front end in the last uh, lab uh, so if we send that notice this api v1 um, yada yada so if we send that we get the token back uh, copy. so this is the same as the last one basically just go here just go and put um what was it like that yeah there we go and then if we go to log in and then we delete the user it's the task obviously should get a little complete cool fresh there right that's that